Today's video is another one for you budget ballers out there. Not only am I going to tell you how to perfectly craft this $250 laptop gaming setup, but I'm also going to show you how to upgrade it over time. Let's get into it. Real quickly before continuing on, I just wanted to remind you guys that our $2,200 Baller AF Gaming PC giveaway is still live and Team Grip is even paying me for this pre-roll ad to remind you guys. Yes, not only did they send every single part of this beautiful build for me to assemble and then give away to one of you lucky viewers, but now they're paying me to remind you guys because the giveaway is ending soon. Click that first link down in the description and that'll take you to a super easy set of instructions. Basically, all you have to do is vote for your favorite Team Group product, watch my giveaway video that I posted about a week ago, and then you can do all the usual Gleam.io giveaway tasks. Make sure you do them all because you'll gain an extra entry for every task that you do and increase your chances of winning the PC. Other winners get some team group RAM kits and even some coupon codes. And once again, make sure you check out that first link down in the description. So just for some very quick disclaimers, everything that we're talking about today is linked down in the description. After showing all the parts, I am indeed going to be giving you my recommendations on how to upgrade them in the future or now if you're just a straight up baller and don't care about this budget stuff. And finally, this setup guide is actually tailored towards literally any laptop or even a desktop gaming PC. HP kindly sent over this monster Victus gaming laptop, which is rocking an RTX 3060. But the purpose of this video is to show you that you can pair this setup with literally any laptop that you currently have, maybe one that you're about to buy, or even a desktop gaming PC. I'm trying to help as many people here as possible. Going back to this laptop though, let's talk about this first because it's an absolute beast and it needs some proper camera time before we talk about the budget peripherals. For specs, it's rocking an 8 core and 16 threaded Intel 11800H, which can boost up to 4.6 gigahertz provided your laptop is properly cooled. And that's pretty impressive for a 45 watt TDP chip. It also has 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM in dual channel clocked at 3200 megahertz. And the SSD is a 512 gigabyte Intel Optane H10, which is indeed MVM. Me. And finally, for the graphics, like I said earlier, it's rocking an NVIDIA RTX 3060 with 6 gigabytes of GDDR6, and that will easily allow you to play any game that you want to, even on the go. The display it'll be powering is a 16.1 inch 1080p 144Hz IPS panel, and it does indeed cover 100% of the sRGB screen. The reason why that's important is because the cool thing about this laptop is that it's actually designed for both gamers and creators, which, if you didn't already know, that's basically me in a nutshell. The only other thing that they could have done for me is to like wrap it in a huge thick Nerf case. That way it's also designed for dads and it would help when Antonio's throwing the laptop all over the floor. Before going down that rabbit hole, let's stick with just the gamers and creators for now. And yeah, that RTX 3060 with a 144 Hertz display is absolutely perfect for a gamer as you would expect. But that 16 threaded Intel processor is also perfect for creators like me who use Adobe Premiere. It's also packing some little features that are much appreciated for creators as well, such as this full size SD card slot. And speaking of which, let's go over the rest of that IO. On the left hand side, we have power, ethernet, a full sized HDMI, USB-A, USB-C, an audio combo jack, and finally that SD card slot, which is easily my favorite part. Over on the right-hand side, we just have two more USB Type A's, and that's honestly just about as good as an I.O. setup can get for a laptop right now, in my opinion. This HP Victus is also rocking Wi-Fi 6 for those blazing fast internet speeds, and for the battery life, it's about six hours on average, and if you're just watching videos, that may get closer to the seven hour mark, which is pretty nice. And finally, before moving on to the rest of this video, of course, you know I had Sam whip up a quick benchmarking run. Here are the results for the 10 games that we usually test, including the newer titles like Forza Horizon 5 and Call of Duty Vanguard. Pretty impressive numbers here, and this laptop's performance definitely does not disappoint. Huge thank you to HP for sending this one out so we have a proper laptop to test our laptop gaming setup, but now it's time to check out what else is on the desk here today. Starting with the monitor, this is the Pixio PX248PA, and this is easily one of my favorite options right now for just under $200. It's honestly a perfect addition to a laptop gaming setup to give you additional screen real estate, and it's definitely good enough to be your primary monitor for gaming as well. This is a 24 inch 1080p 144Hz IPS panel and of course it's got that silky smooth one millisecond gray to gray response time. Just like every other recent Pixio monitor, it's showing off this super sleek and clean design including that minimal footprint of the stand and if you don't want to use that it is indeed basic compatible as well. For ports it's got a USB, HDMI 2.0 that can get up to 144Hz, HDMI 1.4 which can only do 120, display port for 144Hz again and finally a headphone jack. Moving on we get to the headset and this is easily one of the 
best value plays in this entire lineup. This is the Red Dragon H350 Pandora, and it's a super solid option for around 30 bucks. I actually reviewed this in a previous setup guide video, and in that video, I did a microphone test, but I didn't realize how solid and clear the quality was until I got the video back from my editor. The microphone quality of this is fantastic for the price, and you can actually use it exclusively for live streaming and not just for like comms with your teammates. That mic is also detachable, which you love to see, and although RGB on the headset isn't controllable, it still looks pretty clean for this price range. As far as comfort goes, it's perfectly fine for the price tag in my opinion, and more importantly, it does come with an inline remote for volume and microphone muting. It's basically just doing everything right here. There's definitely not a ton of options out there for white budget gaming headsets, but I'm pretty confident that this is one of the best, honestly, if not the best option out there right now. Next up, we get to this keyboard and mouse combo. Try not to judge me on this one, por favor, but this is the Felicon 10 keyless combo, and I usually don't go this cheap in my budget setup guides, but this only costs $27, so I had to try it out. Honestly, I like the aesthetics of it for being so cheap, and usually these super budget combos aren't 10 keyless, so that's why I pulled the trigger on it. For the mouse, it's about what you'd expect in terms of performance. I do indeed like that it's super lightweight, but the accuracy of the sensor obviously isn't that good. If you're just jumping into PC gaming and you haven't tried a more expensive mouse, you'll probably think this is perfectly fine, however. And then for the keyboard, I do actually like it, especially the aesthetics, but the only problem I has is the shortened shift key on the left hand side. I absolutely could not get used to this and it was super annoying because I kept clicking the key right next to it but that may not apply to everybody else. Both products have a pretty solid RGB customization for the price and the DPI of this mouse goes from 800 to 6400 which is perfectly fine for most people. And then finally underneath that obnoxiously cheap combo is the final piece of this puzzle and this is the Yibmo XL black mouse pad. There was definitely no more room in this tiny budget for anything more than this $9 all black pad. If you are on a super strict budget then I would recommend and finding a design mouse pad and matching that to your setup, but obviously that's not needed and something like this will work perfectly fine. This white and black aesthetic of the setup doesn't look too bad though for $250. But now it's time to talk about the upgrades and this super budget setup should be able to hold you over for a while, but if it doesn't and you wanna put more money into it now or either down the line, the very first thing I would recommend is obviously the keyboard and mouse combo. For the mouse, I would really recommend getting up to the Cooler Master MM711 if you do wanna keep that super lightweight feeling and the white version is usually less than 50 bucks as well. It comes in both black and white, and I've mentioned in several videos already how much I love this mouse for first-person shooters because I just feel so accurate with it. For the keyboard, I like the SK653, which is also from Cooler Master, ironically. This is only if you want a full-size keyboard, mind you, and it's definitely pretty expensive, but I'm always a sucker for low-profile switches, and I love the different modes of connectivity with Bluetooth and USB-C. This super clean layout is obviously a bonus for me as well, and just like the mouse, this does come in black and white again. And finally, this mouse mat can definitely be replaced at some point and I would highly recommend it. I would certainly suggest getting something a bit more stylish. It's always a good move to match your background wallpaper on your computer and your mouse pad like I've done in other setup guide videos in the past to try to find whatever design or color scheme that you're personally interested in. And just as a reminder, everything we talked about today is linked down in the description. Also, feel free to click the video that's on the screen now if you want to see another laptop gaming setup at this exact same price point. That way you have even more options to go over. But just like always, I hope you enjoyed this video.